everybody. New Year's Eve, depending on where you are, New Year's Day Live. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to wait for a couple of people to hop in. Make sure you guys say hey when you're here. Hey, guys. Hey, I am so excited. Woo, we're coming strong tonight, you guys. Who else is excited? <sighs> hey, guys. So, um, wasn't sure how this was all going to look. Um, now I'm realizing I probably should have put some eyebrows on. If you guys didn't know, I, uh, I don't ever wear makeup, ever. But sometimes I put eyebrows on because they disappear in the lights. Anyway, hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, yes, so for those who don't know, tonight is going to be a canvas reveal. I have it here. And I, thank you. Then um, I'm very excited. Ooh, yay! So you guys may notice that I'm in front of the pop wall instead of my normal spot. So, um... We're just going to make this work. You should use drills to paint your eyebrows on sometime. Um, my problem is if I did that, they would take the eyebrows <coughs> off with them when they were removed. So before we get into this, you guys, first of all, if you're still in 2020, happy almost new year. If you are in 2021, happy new year. If you're watching the replay, happy new year. Um, so I wasn't sure how this night was going to go, so I grabbed the only alcohol we have in our house. So we have half of a bottle of wine that was like $8 from the supermarket, um, one single Sam Adams, and one single Red's Peach Ale. If you guys don't know, we're not big drinkers at all. I couldn't even tell you how long uh, this has been. Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. Um down there so toilet if gin. toilet gin thank you um if you guys have a cocktail of choice that you'd like to enjoy with us feel free otherwise you do you um for those who are in totally different time zones where it's like not nighttime it's 10 o'clock somewhere i mean it's nine o'clock here you know so uh, this is my sister's mugs. Um, that's me. And that's my sister. So, hey, hey! So I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Um, we are waiting on our special guest. So, you guys have all done this before. If you hear noise directly to my left, I do have a fan running. If you hear tiny human noises... That would be the tiny human. She is still awake, so I'm being told. If you hear husband noises, we're not surprised. The husband's in here. Say hi, husband. Hello. All right. Let's see. Yes, I have a special guest joining us tonight. Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to see. Hmm. Well, I wonder if I can't send them the invite. Bear with me, you guys. Um, they may have to jump into your life. I know, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to try to send it to them, if I can. So how is everybody doing tonight? Yeah, so all my West Coast people, whoop. Hey, hey, all my West Coast people, it's uh, early there, so, all right, all right, how do I invite, there we go, there we go, Let's... I am so excited, so, cheers to everyone. Hello, hello, <laughs> everybody. This is the artist Jazz Higgins, and she is joining me. Well, it's tomorrow for me. Um, so happy New Year to you. Happy New Year! Yes. yes. And uh, 
I have a friend who lives in Australia, and every time I talk to her, I say, I ask her how the future is. So <laughs> we I are. Know different than you now. Yes. It's different day, <laughs> different month, different year. It's so cool. Um, so so cool. I am so, I'm, you could probably see it on my face. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I put together this event for Alice in Winter Wonderland in, um, we announced in October. And I knew right away which canvas I was going to do. And it is not, this is Jazz Higgins, you guys. So for those who have been asking me, what will I be doing? I'm going to just try to maneuver a little bit. This beautiful kid. I knew you guys have been around on my YouTube channel long enough. I actually did an unboxing of this. Um, and I'm so excited. And... Brian reached out to Jazz and said, my wife is doing an event and she loves your artwork. Would you be willing to come on? So here we are. You guys all say, hey. Let's see if I can turn around. I'm lucky they can't hear me, but <laughs> I love that it's nice and summery there for you. <laughs> it's the only round two days ago, so. Say that again? Wait, it's not you. <laughs> My husband's just right over there. So, uh, he so this. he did. And that was the sweetest thing ever. And I am beyond appreciative. Um, so I guess a few, uh, a couple questions. So I have been stalking your diamond paintings for a while before I decided to buy this one. Have you done one of your own kits? My own kits? Yeah. Yes. I've done, I've done quite a few of them, actually. Um, oh, fantastic. Yeah, so I, um, sometimes I'll get, my mum, my mum is also right into diamond painting now, so um, I get her to do some. Um, she's always asking me, like, when's the new kit coming out? So um, she's really into it, and um, yeah, I'm having fun with them. I still can't decide if I prefer the round or the square ones better. That's the age-old debate. Um, I'm really excited that this one's round because I think it'll work up really quickly. Um, I love this. I love the size of this. I love I love your style of artwork. It's very whimsical. And you do you describe yourself as a pop surrealist? Yeah, I would say that's probably where it would fit in. Pop surrealism. Um, yeah, I, I guess. I, I guess if yeah, if I have to tick any box, it would be that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, put whatever label you want on it. This is so exciting. If you guys have any questions, leave them down there. I'm going to try to keep up with whatever I can. Um, my husband is in here, so if I need him to, he'll hop in and, and read and say, hey, ask this question. Um, if you're <laughs> seeing anything, I don't know if you can see the comments on your end, but if you see anything at all, feel free to just shout it out and answer it. But um so how long have you been doing art, I guess, professionally? I assume you've been doing it a lot longer yeah, just uh, as a hobby and an interest. Yeah, I, um, so I started painting. I mean, I've always been interested in painting and art and all that sort of thing. But is it a bit noisy here? I'm, just, I'm on like a road, but there's also like the beach in front of me. So it's like, it's noisy. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, it's always I'm, noisy when I'm on. Don't worry. I have a toddler, so they're used to it. It's really noisy and windy. Um, yeah, so I've been painting professionally for probably about, it must be 13 years, maybe nearly 14 this year. Um, mm -hmm. And so that work. I really kind of got stuck into it when my daughter was born um, in 2008. So 2007, I sort of started to really look at selling my art professionally and um and then it's just kind of slowly built up from there and yeah now it's pretty much it's my full-time job I've got my two babies my well they're not babies anymore my daughter's 12 and my um, son is seven and um yeah so that's just pretty much what I do full-time now it's my whole life. are either one of them interested in art or mommy's art mm, sort of um my I mean, I think they just think that's just what, what you do. Um, I remember watching my daughter play a few years ago and she was playing with a friend and she was like, okay, now I'll be the mum, you be the dad, um, you go to work and I will pay. <laughs> 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 that's what you think mums do. That's, 
That's so funny. My husband is the artist in our family. I diamond paint, but I, I'm not artistic. I'm crafty, but I'm not artistic. And he is definitely artistic. So anytime she has an art request, she comes to me and then is like, that's not very good, mommy, and goes right to him. <laughs> um, yes, he did. He drew a lion monkey for her. I drew a seahorse, and she said, no, that's a dinosaur. And I was like, well, you're three, so... You know, but do you have a preferred medium? Um, I paint mainly in acrylic. Um, on yeah. I guess because I've had the um, I've always had my kids at home with me. Um, well, now they're at school now, but most of the time they're around my my home with me. And my studio is kind of just a little like a, a big corner of my kitchen, so it's like all big one happy family. And I've got this studio slash kitchen slash house it's always been all in together so I didn't want like chemicals lying around and things like that so um yeah you can get pretty good acrylics these days to paint with so it's it's been good yeah just building up slowly. that's so cool I'm experimenting with like watercolors and things like that but mainly acrylic yeah I was watching your story um when you were putting together your advent calendars for the diamond paintings and I, I was like I wonder if she does everything from her home but I guess you do that I do that's so I cool um yeah I used to have a little um separate studio um up the road from me which was like open to the public but I had to close that down because it was just getting a bit too tricky to try and balance it between um all my things at home and my shipping and all that sort of stuff at home and then also having this separate location it was like i found like i was just always juggling in between so my ideal um situation my ideal situation now would be to have um to build in my studio at home and have it um you know all one big one big thing that i can sort of also do from home because I feel like my days aren't really like a set work hours. I'm always just running in between um, school pickups and um, all that sort of thing. <laughs> Family life, home life, and mm -hmm. also just doing work where I can. So it's always like I'm always juggling between, you know, when, when the kids are in bed and I'm, I'm painting or I'm working. And yeah. Um, Crystal is asking what is your favorite brand of acrylics to use? Oh, okay. Well, here in Australia, um, it's it's tricky. We don't get a lot of the same great acrylics that you get over there. I know Golden brand is really popular over there, in, but we don't get a lot of Golden here. You can get it at some art stores, but um, my favourite is probably, it's called Atelier Interactive, and it, um, it allows you to blend um, the paint a lot better than um, just your average student acrylic or just your average acrylic is. It has a longer like open time so it's um, it doesn't dry as fast as other paints and you can you can wet, keep it wet and um, blend it really well. So Atelier, yeah, would probably be my favorite. And then we're being jump between. We're being asked where to buy your diamond painting kits. I know we can get them on your website jazzhiggins.com. Is there anywhere else that you can get them or just on your site? Um, probably my site would be the best spot to get them. Um, okay. I have them on an eBay account, but it's an Aussie eBay account. It's probably just easier to do it on my website. It's probably cheaper too. So, um, yeah, jazzhiggins.com. For anyone, because I have the notes here from when I did the video, for anyone who is curious, I, I converted everything. Everything on her website is in Australian dollars, but it takes, you know, Google two seconds to tell me what it is in US dollars. Um, the cost of this kit with the shipping came out to 5637 in US dollars which is pretty comparable to what you're getting from a lot of these bigger um and the fact that obviously this is legally obtained it's your own artwork which is fantastic what made you decide to uh turn your own artwork into kits as opposed to trying to get somebody to license your artwork yes well i um so when I decided I was going to try um, to do my own diamond painting kits, I thought I could go with somebody and they could do it. But I also, the, initially that was the route I was going down. But my issue was that I was finding there was a lot of um, infringement from overseas. So even the, peop even the companies that I um, could go through to license my painting, um, they 
they still would order their kits from an overseas supplier probably um, mm. most likely. So what I found was even though they were fairly um, sure that they could guarantee that they wouldn't steal my things, I, I didn't really have any control of where my, my images were being sent. And so I kind of, it all just, I started looking into how it would be if I tried to put together some kits myself. Um, and I felt like I had a lot more control than over who was, who was getting the, the images and they still get ripped off. Like they still get, um, people still take yeah. images directly from your website or wherever and, and will, you know, um, will rip them off. But, um, yeah, it's, it's much harder. Um, and at least I know, um, who I'm, yeah, who I'm sending them to. You're dealing with, yeah. A lot of us, um, when we start in this craft, don't really know about legally licensed artwork and things like that. I know I'm one of many people who have a whole collection of artwork they got from a lot of these China Mail sites that can't really do anything with. Um, and there's a, a lot of us that are campaigning for, we use the hashtag pay the artist. Um, so you have a lot of us on your side that if we see your artwork anywhere else, we will all reach out to you. We will all reach out to the company to let them know to take it down. Um, I've got, Steph wants to know, it's a two-part question. Do you chart the them by yourself, by hand, or computer? And then do you find that now that you're turning your artwork into diamond painting, that it has affected how you do your own paintings? Those are great questions. That's a good question. Um, <laughs> I, I don't, I, they're all charted by computer. Um, so sometimes I'm not happy with the result. Uh, occasionally I think, what on earth is that color doing in there? And they just it'll <laughs> pick up a weird pixel and you just end up with some green dot in the middle of the square. But I feel like that happens with most of most kits. Um, anywhere you buy them from, there's always mm -hmm. some odd one somewhere in there. And usually I just change it out or, you know, do what you like with it. Um, so, yeah, um, they're all charted on computer. I think if I tried to sit there and do it by hand, it would be like, it would take forever <laughs> just trying to figure out the colors by myself. Um, and has it changed the way I'm painting? I don't think it's changed this, the way I'm painting, but I'm actually starting to, I, I realized the other day when I was painting, I'm actually starting to think of like, oh, how is this going to look as a diamond painting if I create it into a diamond painting? That's really cool. Um, how much detail will I will I put into this so that um, what would come out in a diamond artwork and um, yeah it is definitely influencing the way I'm thinking about um, different designs and things like that definitely yeah. do you have any new kits on the horizon for 2021 that we should keep our eyes out for I do um, I have one in the works um, for uh, someone asked me um, just on my group um, the other day because I do have a little Facebook group that's just Jags Higgins Diamond Art and I've just got a little collection of people in there as well I think they're in there Lindsay um, and um, someone asked me on there if there's going to be a January release and things shipping times and things have been crazy over Christmas so it's going to be probably a little bit delayed usually I try and release them on the 15th of each month but this one's just going to be a little bit later I think um, it's looking like but um, I am going to release one, um, yeah, so. So if you have some on your website that are out of stock, because I've popped in and seen some, do you tend to restock them? I do. I restock them. Okay. But um, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it can, there's just been, you know, all sorts of crazy delays at the moment with supplies and shipping and all that sort of thing. But um, I do try and restock them. And over the last month, it's been quite tricky because um, I've been doing lots of markets, uh, Christmas markets leading up to Christmas. So I'll actually go and uh, have a market stall and things like that. And um, I'm, I've got to keep my stock levels in check with what I've got in stock um, on my website as well. So um, I think one the other day I marked it as out of stock. It was the Sugar Skull uh, Princess. I marked it out of stock. And then when I got home, I realized I still had half a box of our kids, mm. so quickly popped it back up again. Yeah. Um, people are asking, do you ship worldwide? Yes, I do ship worldwide. At the moment, um, international shipping is tricky. It's um, it takes anywhere up to thirty five days, and mm -hmm. sometimes they tell me they sit on a plane for two weeks 
here in Australia before they go anywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. One question popping up. What advice do you have for creators who are wanting to start their own diamond painting brand or company? Okay. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> for creators. So I would say definitely look into the, if you want to license um, your artwork, it, it is a lot easier. You're not dealing with the whole back end. If you want to just um, license your, um, your images to a company that's already standing, if you feel like you have, uh, you you're happy with them to take control of the kits and you're happy with their quality and you're happy with their, their process and everything like that, then you can um, you can just license your images to them and that's pretty easy because once you give them your images, they can just give you a royalty for every kit sold and you don't have to worry mm -hmm. about that sort of stuff. So if you're really not wanting to take on a whole lot of that back-end stuff and you just want to focus on the art, I would say to do that. But Having said that, if you're wanting to create your kits yourself, um, it's trial and error. I wouldn't go making a big commitment to any one company to start with. You will literally just have to try and source um, uh, the diamonds and the, the you know, where you're going to get your canvases printed and what type of glue you want to use and what type of um, you know covering you want to use and. Um, the quality of their uh, kits. So for me, it was so much trial and error, just trying different places. And um, there were some that would, you know, would only take a minimum order of 10. So I would have to order 10 and then they would just all be rubbing. So I'd have to just get rid of them. And so there was a, a bit of trial and error that way. But eventually I found the right kit with a couple of actually a couple of different suppliers and then also putting, um, Still having a lot of the control myself and, and putting the end kit together myself. I will say I have I have for those who are just hopping in, we are here with Jazz Higgins and um I have revealed that I will be doing she's so pretty. The Alice and Absalom uh from Jazz. And when I unboxed her kit, I was so impressed with the quality, the drills look great. She came, um, we got this awesome little toolkit, which I know a lot of people don't need all the stuff in the toolkit, but as somebody, I appreciate having the sticker and the uh, inventory sheet, and then there's a little pot for your wax if you want it. Um, I, I really am very, very excited to get into this. Um, our event officially begins in... Two hours and 48 minutes, I think, is when it starts. Um, I'm being asked, who inspired you artistically? And uh, do you have any favorite artists currently? I have lots of favorites. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously the king of pop surrealism, Mark Ryden. I loved Mark Ryden's work, and I always have. Um, I've got lots of his paintings, not originals, unfortunately, lots of his prints all around my house. Um, and I also love um, the Australian illustrator, Sally Barber. She does lots of um, beautiful fairy um, paintings, things like that. Um, some of the big eyed artists that are around, Margaret Keane, the original, and then um, there's Jasmine Beckett Griffith, um, Mab Graves, I love her stuff. Um, there's, I mean, there's too many to, to talk, to really rattle off. I could go through my Instagram list and tell you all the faves I have, but yeah, I, um, there's some of my big influences, I, I would say. I love specifically Instagram. I know that there's all forms of social media, but Instagram has really brought, at least to me and to a lot of people in my social circle, a lot of artists that we would have never have known about, yeah, um, yeah. whether they do diamond painting or not, um, or you see a piece and you go, that would be great as a diamond painting. And the amount of kits that I have asked diamond art club to do <laughs> going, Hey, I love this artist. Can you do this? Or other people will ask other companies, Hey, look at this artwork. It's great. Um, yeah. It's really wonderful to see this. I don't want to say new resurgence, but a new, way to discover art and it's really fantastic uh, i did notice in 
a lot of yours, you have uh, more than one Alice. So do you have a love of Alice? I mean, obviously I do. <laughs> I love Alice. Um, I love um, I love experimenting with like different styles, um, her in different, you know, different uh, areas and things. I've got, um, yeah, I've got quite a few Alice paintings. Um, in mm -hmm. the um, and I just, I've been, you know, really trying to mainly focus on those characters that are, were public domain. I, I guess I, this year I want to venture into maybe a little bit more fan art and a little bit more um, other popular characters as well because I just have so many favourites. But I've always kind of stuck to the really old traditional public domain characters and I was thinking it might be fun to, to try and experiment with some of the new characters too. Yeah. That's awesome. I, I love Alice. I've always loved Alice. Um, oddly enough, we went my daughter's first Halloween. She was Alice. I was the queen of hearts. My husband went as the Mad Hatter. So <laughs> this is something that is pretty much ingrained. Um, my good friend, Stephanie, uh, who's been asking a ton of the questions down here. She actually sent us a small copy of the book to read to the, the kiddo and you have kids. So, you know, most kids at three don't really have a long attention span. We could read chapters at a time. And the whole time she was like, mommy, white rabbit, tell me about the kitty. Like she's, she's just so excited. So I can't wait to finish this kit and hang it up in my house. Um, I, I am so excited. And I've had so many people reach out to me and say, Oh, what kid are you going to be doing for your event? And I said, don't worry, you'll see. And I was hoping um, to be able to showcase your work because it is so beautiful and it is so unique. And it's very much of the style that I enjoy. Like so many people are not into the girls with the big eyes. Give me all the girls with all the big eyes. That's I love it. I love it. And I said, you know what? Jazz is independently putting out her own artwork, and I think this would be a great way to get your name out to a lot of people who've never seen your artwork or who've never heard of you. And it's so refreshing to see an artist putting out her own art in diamond painting form. Um, are there any diamond paintings that you would love to get your hands on and do, whether it's your work or not? Yeah, um, that's a really good question. Um, there are some, there's definitely paintings of mine that I'm really looking forward to seeing how they come out in, in terms of diamond paintings. But um, I would love to do some of Mark Ryden's paintings in diamond paintings, but he's had such a lot of detail that I, I think you'd need to do one that's really big. It would have to be a huge size just to get all those details in. Um, I think uh, someone, uh, Jules, our girl's best friend, just uh, asked, yes. uh, uh, where was it? It was a comment up here. Um, About the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, that's right. Um, I was going to say, I did a, um, a painting based on the original story of the Little Mermaid, and it's called The Little Mermaid's Demise, I think. Oh, The, Mermaid De the Mermaid's Demise. I'm not sure if it's still on my website, but I'll have to post it to my uh, Instagram so, so she can see it because that might actually make a cool diamond painting that's a good idea um yeah and it's sort of a mermaid with a skeleton yeah like a mermaid it, skeleton. Cool. I, I'm so I'm so completely honored that you're here with us for anyone who's hopping in um this is Jazz Higgins and I will be doing her Alice and Absalom kit for Alice in the Winter Wonderland for those who don't know the event begins at 12.01 on January 1st. Everything is in Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in a different time zone, you can just Google it to figure out. Uh, Australia, they're already in January 1st. Uh, the event will run through February 14th. And all you have to do is pick any Alice or Alice theme kit and work on it and use the hashtag Alice in a Winter Wonderland. When this is all done, I will try to save this and post this to my YouTube channel as well. And I will make sure to link... I'll link everything that I can in the description of this. And when I put it on YouTube, I'll, I'll tag your Facebook group and all that stuff. Um, that does anybody great. else have any other questions before I like ramble on for <laughs> just found out about her earlier today and bought a kid about a half hour ago. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. It's so exciting. You guys, I'm going to show it again because I'm, I'm obsessed and it took everything in my power to not like buy more than one kid at a time because I, I wanted to test it out and see it but like look how beautiful she is and look the mushrooms 
I tend to be very uh, character driven in a lot of the kits that I work on. And I did a, what was it called? The old shoe house. For anyone who has been around, you know, I worked in the old shoe house for like a month. Um, and it was the old Mother Hubbard. But my favorite part of that was all the little mushrooms. So I can't wait to get into the floral details in this and the little mushrooms. Um, yes, the eyes on this are gorgeous. The colors in the sky. Everybody's seeming to love this kid. Do you have any questions, Adam Monster? Uh, it's not diamond painting related. Mm hmm. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle and why is it Raphael? No. No. <laughs> he wants to know who is your favorite Ninja Turtle and he wants to know why it's Raphael, which is the wrong answer because I would say Michelangelo. Right. We've um, been fighting over this for 12 years. Raphael came to mind, actually. That's weird that he said that. Um, that's weird. Yeah. Raph. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> He's like gloating like a little kid back there. You guys, if anybody else, bless you, if anybody else has any questions, oh, hop them in real quick. I was yelling out to my son, Atreyu. <laughs> <laughs> He's yelling to his son. You know, like the never ending story? Because um, I was going to ask him what his favorite Ninja Turtle was. So that's the data monster. Hello. I thought I'd pop in and say hello. Thank you so much for joining her for this. Thank you. Thank you for asking. For anyone who missed the beginning of this. At the moment. But, um, yeah, this was a good opportunity to jump on and do something different. I, I'm so honored that you came in with us, and I cannot thank you enough. Um, I will get this up on YouTube as well, and I'll make sure to send you all the information, um, tag you and everything. Um, if you guys want to follow her, she has – a diamond painting account as well as her own artist account. You can check her out on her website, jazzhagens.com. Um, and do you have a place that people can buy your prints as well? That's in your bio, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, yeah, all on the same website, jazzhagens.com. I've got all my prints, okay. and puzzles, and, and diamond paintings and bits and pieces on there. Yep, yes, puzzles too, you guys, if that's your thing. She has her own artwork on puzzles. So, Jazz, thank you so much for joining us. And, um, I hope that you got a nice glimpse of 2021 and it's better than 2020. And um, I cannot thank you enough for hopping in. I'll show you what, awesome. what 2021 looking like over here. It's, um, Ooh. it's pretty good. So. It looks nice. This is 2021. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good to get so far. Well, enjoy the rest of your vacation and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I look forward Absolutely. to Absolutely. All right. Thanks, guys. Good night. Good night. Bye. So, you guys, I hope that you guys are all as excited as I am. Um, I was so excited and nervous and all these things and i know that all of us have our own places that we love artwork from and artists that we love but please support your local artists support your independent artists i mean this canvas is absolutely gorgeous um and it has 36 colors this particular kit is a round and she is 35 by 70 excuse me she does have multiple kits on her on her website um if this is your style of art please please go check her out like i said um this particular kit everything is in australian dollars this one broke down to it was 49 australian dollars plus 29.99 shipping which translated into 56 dollars and 37 cents in us dollars if you guys want to see me unboxing this um I did do that on my YouTube channel. Once I post this to YouTube, I will link it in the eye, which I think is over here. Either way, I'm not sure. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>